everybody. Today we have the Sony VPL VW 600 ES, which is the second true 4K projector to be released in the home theater market. So I am extremely excited to do this unboxing because I have been looking forward to this for a very long time. All right, let's get started. stiff there we are here you have a pretty uh, clear view of what's in here and here this is the power cable over here Sony remote a very plain Jane remote uh, as usual, I'll have no need for this because I use iRule now. And wow, there's a foam cutout for the batteries. Now that's, I don't know if that makes sense, but this is what they've done. Alright, and now, here's the projector itself. Now that was actually pretty fast. Usually with JVCs, I spend about three or four minutes just taking things out and looking at what they are. This is very clean. All right, so let's get this out. Depending on how heavy it is, well, let's let's see how heavy it is. Okay. Foam piece one out. Foam piece two out. Take a quick look as to where the front and where the back is. This looks like the back. This looks like the front. I can feel the indentation here. So definitely do that if you want to know which way is front and which way is back before you lift it out. Alrighty. Let's get her out of here. Here we are. Tell the box to take a walk. Hey, box, take a walk, pal. Let's put this down here. And we can readjust. Excuse the mess, we're packing. Okay, so that is the front. Tape carefully. Here's a little warranty piece of paper. Always keep the warranty information because you never, ever know. Again, careful with the tape. The reason I said careful with the tape is because you never know in the future when you may have to sell one of these. I've sold about four projectors since I got into this hobby. And it's important to keep the tape intact because it's important to keep this covering intact as well. Okay. Okay. And here we are. VW 600 ES. Let's get this plastic covering off again. Get a projector that costs what this costs. You want to take your time with everything that you do. Everything. Okay. Now this is very nice because from what I've been reading, I was always under the impression that the entire projector was just a flat matte finish but that is not the case the front is gloss 
it's a, it's a black high gloss face and then the top is a sparkly very similar to the black pearl finish on my former legacy focus SE speakers it's, there's little, little sparklies in the in the material let me see if I can zoom in so you can catch it you may or may not be able to there you go you should be able to see it there are little little sparklies in there so that's a pleasant surprise actually here we have the Death Star front lens area and this plastic pulling off this plastic apparently also pulls off the lens cover lens cover is not motorized considering the discount between this and the step up 1100 ES which is $28,000 this is 15000 I say who cares that there's no motorized lens cover I know I don't I care about the picture that goes up on the screen as I prepare to put this 600 ES back in the box getting ready for a move just want to point out a couple things A it comes with a coupon for two free pairs of 3D glasses this is at this is at the bottom of the box so when you when you take this out the box make sure you look for the bottom of the box because that's where it's going to be all right two pairs of 3d glasses free secondly something to keep in mind the inputs are recessed under here so just keep that in mind as well it's, it's good you know for those of, those of us who use thick cables um, you don't have to worry even if your ceiling mounts in the projector it's not going to be an eyesore from the bottom because it's recessed another thing is that the power cable is not in that input cluster the power cable the power um, input I should say is found in the rear corner of the projector so if you're facing it it's it it's in the rear right corner of it so just keep those things in mind and listen if you can get this projector get this projector the, the video doesn't do it justice the pictures that this thing puts out are awesome and I don't even have 4k sources yet just with 2k 1080p sources another piece of advice um, from what I've seen if you have a Darby use a Darby instead of reality creation that's just my opinion you're welcome to test it on your own reality reality creation is still great um, but uh, in my opinion the Darby is better but overall this is the best projector purchase I've ever made and yes it is better than the JVC RS56 that I bought and sold late last year Alright, 